And is it going on? Are we alive? Good evening, everybody. Hallelujah. I hope you're all very well and having a wonderful Monday night. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Monday Night Live. I can see there's a bunch of people in chat already. And as always, I will spend the first 10 minutes saying hello to you guys. So make sure you let me know um, what your name is and where you're from. I love to see where you are in the world when you're coming to join us. So, uh, yeah. If you're watching this on replay and this is your first time, just fast forward 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes just going to be me saying hello to those nice little people in the chat. You can also watch the chat in live replay mode as well. I don't know how, but you can. Now then, let's have a little look and see who we've got going on here. Mr. Dragolaz is from Bosnia. Bran Horsley is coming in from Ohio. Schwarzy is in. Evening, Schwarzy. How are you doing? Gareth Martin, Lois Ashton. Uh, Game of Thrones? What? <laughs> I imagine that was a conversation before I, I came on. Um, right, what have we got? Vaping Smurf is... is Smurf? Uh, Smurf uh, is uh, is in Glasgow. Eddie Summerford is in Eastbourne. How you doing, Eddie? Nice to see you. Uh, Reese Evans, good evening, Dino, from my garden. It's lovely. I'd like to be sitting in my garden this evening. Aris Lutsis from Greece. Yasu, Aris. Um, uh, Brian Jackson, is he starting yet? Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever we go. Hey, dude! I did not know you, my cousin Raz Cole. Uh, Raz is uh, is is my chum. Yes, he's my brother-in-law. Um, what else we got? Uh, Hi, biker vapes is Jenny from Cali. All right, Jenny from Cali. How are you doing? Um, Peter Tafoya. Hello, Dean from New Mexico, US. Justin Walsh. Evening from Newfoundland in Canada. Uh, how is I hope you're doing well, says Damien Chadwick. Matt Woodward. Evening, Dean from Bournemouth. Hope you're well. Thank you very much, indeed. Not too too bad at all. Um, Madhead Judge. Good evening from Tunisia. I, I, I worked on a contract on a building of a, uh, of a, of a, of a gas thing in Tunisia. It was a marvellous job. Fuck it was hot. Um, what else we got going on? Whoop, and the chat's just jumped for me. Let me see if I can catch up with myself. There we go. Uh, Campbell, hello. Good, how are you doing? Congrats on your new project. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, you're in Scotland, Campbell. So thank you very much indeed. I will have a brief chat about the Batium a little bit later on. Uh, good evening from Kentucky, USA, uh, says JTH Reviews. Um, I'd suggest squat what? Legion. Oh, okay, there's someone else. Hello from Iceland, says Billy the Kid. So nice to see you. Super Anodyne. Woohoo! Made it from Austria. Fantastic. G'day, Dean. Nice to be here again. Thank you very much. Jufka Jus Svensson. It's going to. I tell you, it's pretty much every Monday is the same these days. Words just don't really work. Um, uh, what else have we got? Viv E. Hello, any, everyone from Exotic Coventry. Bastion Preview is looking good, Dean. Thank you very much indeed, Viv. Uh, or Church, Dean. Mobile Al, ma, mobile Al here. Mobile Al here. AI? I, mm, don't really know what that is. Uh, Rick Mason. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, Jonathan Hall. He Hello, hello, dude. Ryan Cairns, how you doing? Um, from Newcastle upon Tyne. Not even going to try my Geordie accent tonight. I know it would fail horribly. What's up, Dean? Chris here from San Antonio, Texas. Hi from Hull Beach, says Craig Higginbotham. Um, Andy Fairchild from Bristol, as usual. Uh, Eddie's working. Oh, bad news, Eddie. Bad news. Um, C. Sampy, good evening from Bloomington, Indiana, USA. Good evening to you, C. Sampy. Hello from Pennsylvania, says Keel. Alan, hello, Keel. Uh, hi, Dean from Milton Keynes, says Darren. Just Darren. It's like Prince, but just, you know, Darren. So hello, Darren. Um, what else have we got? Jonathan Hall says, hi, good day from Down Under, says DIY Down Under. Um, Jufka is from uh, Germany. Evening from sunny Solly Hull, says M16. Andy Franklin, afternoon people from Tenino, Washington. Tenino, did I say that right? I, I feel that I may have said that right. Um, hi all, says Pyan Harris uh, with the Thrasher magazine logo. So I'm giving you a, a grim bump for the Thrasher magazine logo. That takes me back to, ooh, 1987, 88, something like that. Um, Aloha, says Kevin K, the Vapor Cat. What's up? What's up with you? Um, Steel Beast, hi, hi. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Dean from Asheville, North Carolina, says Heather Melton. Uh, Phil Reeve, evening. Evening. How are we doing? Hans Hoffer. Hoffer. 
Hofer, Hofer. Even everybody from uh, Austria, have it large. Fucking right, too. Now, I'm trying to scroll down ever so gently here without it all. Fl oh, no, it flicked. It flicked. It flicked. I lost myself. Holy crap balls. There's a lot of people. Right. I think I'm going to have to try and pick up. Here we go. Pick up the pace a little bit. So, are we ready? Richard Chandler, hey, Hailing Island here. The Jameson, Nashville, Tennessee. Mother Smurfer, but I don't really know what that means. Lee Jones, good evening from Southampton, UK. Tenacious DX Vapes. Yo, Tenacious DX Vapes. How you doing, buddy? Um, Alex McKenzie, evening, Dino matey. Alex, how you doing, fella? Nice to speak to you. Uh, Jonathan Hall from Sheffield. Andrew Small, Dean, hello from Alabama. Thank you very much indeed. Hey, hey no, that sounds somewhat... <laughs> <laughs> hate to say it's a lovely 79 Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius outside here in Indiana. Um, I imagine we've probably got some competition for you today. It's flipping warm. It's flipping warm here. Um, hence, the, 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 the rolled up sleeves aren't a fashion statement and uh, trying to be James Dean. It is, it is just hot. And it was this or a vest. <laughs> Sick boy. Hello from the bar. Hello from the bar. Good afternoon from across the pond in upstate New York. I had to refresh. Yes, if you've got any, uh, if the if the the sound and the the thing, the picture, isn't uh, meshing together, just give it a refresh, and that might help that one out. Shout out to Dean from Long Island, New York, says Chief Keith, uh, Frank McDermott. Hello, Dean from a Govan, a Govan, Govan, Govan govern in glasgow oh, God, God. i'm gonna go with that one uh what else we got going on here how the devil are you um Stu from swansea says um vaping biker hi dean from Stephen helen in rugby hello Stephen helen i asked Stephen helen the only couple that watch the vlog is there any other couples that watch the monday night live do let me know i love that uh what else we got yo 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 south florida says zach stone cool name zach are you, are you, Zach, you should be a guitarist in a rock band. I hope you are. Um, hey, Dean, can you say hi to Zoe? Sure, Tom. Hey, Zoe, how you doing? <laughs> hey, um, hi, Dean, looking good. Thank you very much, Lord Killington. Very kind. DIY, I know, saying hello to someone else. Evening, Dean from Aberdeen, says Andy Bradford. Raj, uh, what did, what's up? Uh, hey up, Dino. Hey up, how you doing? Uh, evening from Hailing Island, says Richard Chandler. Uh, what else have we got going on here? What's up, everyone? Says clean as fuck coils. Evening, Dean from Sunny Sheffield, says Mr. Moist. Hi, Dean, it's Steve, Stephen Turning from London. Hello, Stephen Turning from London. Nice to speak to you. That was very, very formal, wasn't it? Uh, very formal. Splendid. A very wonderful evening. <laughs> what? Greetings from Finland as well, says Chris. Bud, bud, bud. Uh, evening from, evening, Dean from Sunny Kings Lynn, says Simon and Gary. Uh, Anon, good evening. Nice to see you. Uh, 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 evening to what? Good evening to see you. What? <laughs> good evening. Oh, good evening to you. Sure is a warm one. I'm parked up in my truck somewhere in South Wales. <laughs> I spent a long time working around the Pembroke area, Milford Haven. Are you down that kind of neck of the woods or Haverford West, that kind of thing? Um, yeah, 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 just been reading chat for the past few minutes with the video paused. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> good evening, Dean, uh, says MTN Tom. All right, MTN Tom, how you doing? Hello, Dean from Norway, says Alan Jakobsen. I'm going with Jakobsen rather than Jacobson. Hopefully that's correct. Uh, right, who else have we got? Clean as fuck calls, Lois Ashton, Archie Ablett, Alex McKenzie, Irishman 999, M16. I'm going, I'm going a little bit quick now because we're just about on that 10 minute. Uh, um, tenacious, Hallmark, Cuz Steve, Cuz Steve, all right, mate. Uh, Dion78, Russ Ferguson. Uh, wouldn't speak to Mr. Todd, bit cranky, and Defo don't mention giveaways to him. Righto, won't do. Um, <laughs> Graham Vincent, Friday Vape Club. Uh, Carl Cops and Peter Porter Latin, I think. Let's go with that one. Um, what else we got going on? I'm cranky. Just I'm not cranky. I'm just I, I can tell you the hot weather doesn't work for if you if you're getting on a bit. There's moob sweat. There's all manner of issues that us older, more voluptuous gentlemen have to deal with. It's it's not as easy as it looks on the tin. I tell you. So I think that's uh, that's most of you. There is still a bunch of you there that I've missed, and I'm very very sorry about that. But we've been going for ten minutes now, and uh, and it will uh, it will destroy the vlog if i carry on doing it so i've got some super cold monster i got another uh, big old big old thing a monster absolutely necessary because i need the energy and it's cold so nice 
So what we're going to do, we're going to have a um, a little brief chat about the Bassium. I know I'm going to get questions about it later on for the people that missed the start, but we're going to have a um, just a, a brief tell you one or two things there. Nothing too in-depth tonight on that one. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Have I had a couple of things in or just the one thing? I can't remember. I'm also going to show you what I've been vaping on and, uh, and all that sort of good jazz. Now then, I, I know... I absolutely know. I saw something today and I thought I need to make a note of that for tonight's show. Completely forgot what it was. Totally didn't make a note of it. So I don't really know. Don't really know what I've done there. I don't. I, mm. um, so, yes, there will be something I forget. And I apologize if you have sent me something and I forget about it. But um, let's just go through what I've been vaping on, shall we? Now, as you might expect, there is one or two bassiums in the mix here. So. Um, on top of the green one, I've got the uh, little for RDA, the little uh, the little jobby from uh, Wake Mod Co. And uh, I can't remember what juice I've got in here. I think that is Rainbow Sherbet in the Darks from uh, from uh, Grimm's signature line. So, yeah, that's what's going on in that one. And uh, like I told you guys last week, this little foot is, is something that I would absolutely support. It's, you know, it's not kind of mind-blowing. It's not, you know, truly, truly stunning. You've got these dirty great screws on the top there, or you've got some without the crossheads in and little logos in if you want them. It's just a fairly sort of solid dual coiler, and it's nothing, it's nothing to get yourself super excited about but it looks all right and it kind of and it feels pretty good and it it tastes reasonably good as well but doing a grand job now then what else have we got on uh on top of the black bassium i've still got the nada the not another dripping atomizer from uh tiger tech and vaping fagan and in there i am rocking some barrister brew maple bar donut now i think i did i tell you about this one last time i bought this ages ago from uh, from a local vape shop and uh to be honest i, I sort of I, I tried it soon after i got it home and i wasn't really digging it and i think that's just because it hadn't had time to steep once you'd mixed in the uh, the 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 nicotine and um and so i put it i've got like a wall behind a door i've got a, a door of juice and i put it on there and it's it's fucking nice now i must have had it for like three or four months just sitting in that door and it tastes really bloody good it is pretty damn sweet and it's not it's not super sexy on the <laughs> okay, I didn't realise they were quite this bad. <laughs> right, are you ready? You like this? <laughs> what? Oosh. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, I think we can probably do with uh, with changing those bad boys out again. <laughs> They've only been in a few days. Oh my word! Right, anyway. <laughs> so uh, yes, that's going on. Barrister brew stuff. Bit of a bit of an angry one on the coils because it's so sweet. I guess. Sure does taste nice. It's really, um, what does it taste like? It's kind of, well, it's super sweet. Um, maybe it's not really chocolatey. It's not really coffee. It's not really syrupy. Maple bar. Don't I don't really know, but it's 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 very sweet. It's like if you get a cappuccino and you pour in a like a, a caramel shot or something like that. That's the sort of thing it reminds me of um then uh elsewhere i've got the vx shit balls i can't remember the name of it does it say underneath hang on i just scrunched it a while ago uh rda vxv x rda from vxv and it's pissed all over the top of my, of my mod um now this is one that i was unsure about last time but um, I've had been been rocking this for a week now, and I'll show it to you again in a second. Hold your horses, um, and it, I, I tell you what, it's not fucking, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, this is the this is what it looks like, and it looks you know fairly kind of. Uh, I can put a little bit more detail in it now. Um, it looks kind of fairly innocuous and fairly cool. It's the dirty great big engraving on there for the VXV um, logo, which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of, but there you go. But the uh, the thing about this one is that you unscrew in a velocity style way. If you screw in that sort of top cap, you uh, you kind of close in your airflow. 
So I've actually been getting a really nice smooth airflow with this one. Um, and also, if you unscrew the top, all oh, I know I'm out of focus. Stick with me. Stick with me. Um, I've got some more dirty old coils going on in here as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's what the inside looks like. So it kind of um, the the deck that holds the juice, so to speak, is um, is kind of not cut off from underneath, but it reduces your your, your leaking because it has a couple of sort of shelfy bits that come into it, which I think is is a pretty reasonable idea. But like I said last week, the one thing that I'm not too sure about is the fact that this does spin reasonably easily. So you will find yourself sort of resetting it, particularly if you put this in and out of your pocket quite a lot. Um, but uh, but no, otherwise, I've not really had a problem with it. And I've got to say that uh, the vape quality of it is not too shabby at all. So, yeah, it's been going actually really rather well. And like I said, I do like, I like this. I know the, the Velocity did it first, but this screwing up and down of the uh, of the airflow, it's nice to see someone else take that on and uh, kind of put a different spin on it because it, it, it does really help the uh, that, that kind of, you know, really fine tuning the airflow to exactly how you like it. And so because of that, I've got to give this some props. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Brian R has put my name in bold, so hello to you and hello to Kimmy Vapes. Nice to see you in as well. Um, right, what else have we got? What else? Ah, now this is the special one. So this is something that is new. I am positive I've had more stuff in this week. Um, I've got one package up there that I've not opened yet because I've not had time to do it for my patrons. So I've got a bunch of stuff in that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's in that. Um, I, I, oh, I can't remember but uh, but no this is uh, this is something that is uh, is incredible I'm, you know I'm quite humbled to uh, to get one of these this is the uh, the dull dime mod from Michelle and um, this is just old school cool for me um, what we've got here we've got the squonk hole in the back I, d I can't remember if she's made any other dual parallel squonkers or if this is the only one um, but uh, I'm very very thankful for it and I think it's it's very cool and like I say it is proper old Old school this is a sort of altoids tins and stuff we were we were making kind of a, a fair a while ago and i like that because of it it's got a really nice clicky button going on on the back here now uh michelle doesn't doesn't sell these see these are things that she makes for uh sort of specific people and gives them away which is uh, so it's very 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 kind that somebody's actually gone to the sort of effort of of making little old me a little old mod which is sweet sitting on top of that is a uh, a dead rabbit sq and uh it does the 510 is kind of quite protruded on this one so it does suit a 22 mil more than it suits a uh a, a, a 24 but it's doing a grand job and uh, yeah I think it's uh, I think it's very cool. So huge thank you to uh, to Michelle for uh, for thinking of me and making me an Altoids dull dime mod because it's it's cool and I've been using it a lot. So yeah, it's great. Um, now then, I think that's what I've been vaping on and what's come in new. I think. I, I think that's 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 it. So what we've also done this week is we did a, I actually did two of the pretty videos this week rather than just the one, um, and uh, we did the Coil Art D Pro Mini, and uh, quite a few of you watched that. So thank you very much indeed, and thank you for the comments. Uh, it's great to see the feedback for the people that have got a, that have got one as well because it does seem that a lot of people are really enjoying it. It's a very restricted lung hitter. It really is a very restricted lung hit. But um, but no, I mean I've still got mine on top of the uh, of the of the uh, what's it called spade twenty one seven hundred, and I still got this uh, long drip tip on there that I, I put on on the uh, on the review, and I'm digging it in a massive way. I think it's I think it's great. But I'm, no, flavor-wise, I think it's great. I think it looks cool. And I really like the, the short and stubby drip tip is my favorite looking one. I think it just makes the whole RDA just look really dinky and tiny. You know, I think it looks sweet because of that one but um but no it's been it's been cool and uh, yeah like i say i think uh, there we go alex mckenzie lovely restricted rda so yeah i'm uh, 
I think it's great that there's a bunch of people are enjoying a, uh, a sort of a super affordable, nice little restricted lung hitting mouth to not mouth to lung, really restricted lung hit, loose mouth to lung, um, affordable little RDA. Like I said that it, in the review, it's not 100 percent perfect. However, it's uh, it's still pretty darn good, and for like under thirty quid, then uh, it's a no-brainer in my book. If that's the sort of thing that tickles your taste buds, I kept trying to get Mr. Todd to have one, and uh, and he blatantly refused. I think he told me just to bugger off. I think he, he said that it was just too cheap. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but um, <laughs> I'm not bringing you on camera. Mr. Todd expected to go on camera then, but I'm not doing. <laughs> <laughs> the other one the other video that came out obviously is the uh the bassium uh video as i've as i said on the video i i it's 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 i did put the price and i put the release date in at least two places in the video and and um <laughs> and in the description and in the pinned post at the top. But I've still had a load of people ask me about it. So the release date is the 6th of July. Um, and I will be making a list on vapingbiker.co.uk as to who's going to be having them from distribution through to um, uh, sales, retail sales and all that sort of stuff, or at least as many people as I can as I can get on there. So and try and put them in each country as well. So I will I will endeavor to do that. We've still got a little bit of time before that goes on on sale yet so hold your horses however if you do want your vape shop to get hold of one or uh, or indeed if you if you are distribution or you're a vape shop yourselves then uh, drop an email to info at dovpoesig.com and uh, and i'm sure they'll be able to sort you out uh, they're not selling them directly from those guys i don't know if that's something that will be happening at some point in time but at the moment don't just I can message them and say, can I buy one? Can I buy one? Yeah. Don't stop doing that. Um, but uh, but no, they will be out for everyone and their uncle. I have oversquonked on so many of these atomizers. It's ridiculous. Um, but uh, but no, thank you so much for all the support um, on that video. There's a, there's a sort of a handful of people that aren't into it, and that's cool. Like I said on, at the time, it's not going to be something for everybody. However, the design, the functionality, and everything about the mod, I've tried to be as inclusive as possible. And that's you know, I will go into it. I'm going to be doing another release video or another another video about it on Wednesday hopefully Wednesday, and that is going to tell you a little bit more about why it's not 21700s, why there isn't a, uh, a centred 510, um, and also why there's no temp control and all that sort of good stuff. Um, and it's also going to show you a bunch of the testing processes that it went through. I'm going to show you some of like the early, early designs that I had and all that sort of good stuff, but also what it goes through when it's in, in the Dovpo um, uh, factory, because I think, I always think it's pretty pretty interesting to say and it might be just that i'm a huge geek but i think it's really interesting to be able to see um what these people do and you know what these factories do to actually make the stuff that we have and that we use every day you know uh, what i will do on that video i will timestamp everything right at the front end there so uh if there's only sort of one specific that bit that you're looking for then you can just zoom into that one but uh, but no hopefully that will be able to explain all of that sort of malarkey but basically, if you uh, if you concentrate on the fact that the re the basically the reason for doing it is is to make it as accessible for as many people as I could think of in one singular mod. So and keeping the price nice and uh, and affordable and uh, and still being a really good quality as well. So I will explain more about that later on down the line. But fifty nine ninety nine in the UK, seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents in the states, um, and we will uh, we will have a lot more information coming out to you very very shortly. You should start. Seeing Seeing, uh, various people's reviews coming up soon. Now, Mr. Todd did his review. Uh, the uh, it went up today. It went up today, and uh, and um, uh, he clearly hates me, you know. But uh, but no, it's um, it's uh, it, it, his review went up, so you can go and check that out and uh, and see what he thinks of the Bassium as well. If you don't want to just listen to uh, to my opinion of it, and uh, everyone's a winner. So. Um, I like the fact that he uh, he can just have a little look up there and <laughs> I'm I'm or I'm I'm ordering a DP Pro, okay? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, well, good man. Just just to get some peace and quiet, I just <laughs> thought, I would, I thought I would go and order one. Good. Make it happen. Make it so, Captain. So <laughs> I just that that's my budget for the evening blowing. That's £21. Gone. 21? Is that what they're going for, is it? Including postage. Fantastic. Well, that's even more of a bargain then. So I am... Um, I just, uh, I just, I thought I would go and look out the, the the email that says, "Would you like to review it?" The one that I ignored, but then I thought, "Nah, bugger it! I'll just go and buy one." What the hell? <laughs> uh, so, so, so that's that done. Alex McKenzie just just said a DP Pro. Did you just call it a DP Pro? I have no idea. I don't know what the thing that you keep talking. Maybe I've actually just bought the wrong thing. D Pro Mini. It has to be the Mini. Make sure you don't buy the big one. The the, the other one's a bit crap. Uh, yeah, that's what I just bought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the D Pro Mini is like 28 quid. It said, uh, no, the D Pro Mini RDA by Coil Art was 19.99. Oh, okay. Oh, so you did buy the right one. I did. Yeah. Well done. Well, you know, I worry about you and technology. Anyway, it's, um, can we go now? <laughs> can we go? No. <laughs> yeah, because Westworld. Don't care. No, oh, well. Suck it out, princess. you got to deal with it. It's the last one. It's you're like, in you now. It's a thing. Know, you're just in the huff because I didn't say nice things about your mod. That's all. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to kick you in the shins next time I see you. Evolution <laughs> Vaping 1999. Is that where you got yours from? Um, I I think it was, it was Grey Haze. Oh, okay. There we go. That, that was the first one that came up. Good. Um, but if anyone's thinking about going and get it, go and check out the review first because it is not a cloud chaser one. It's not a open airflow fucking cloudy motherfucker. It's it's a little flavor chaser that's uh, that is that is pretty damn restricted. So just be aware of that before you rush out and go. It's cheap. I gotta go and buy one. Just be I aware like of that. If you reviewed it already, shut your hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. But can, I can't stay because. It, that's preacher started as well i saw that i got an email from amazon this morning and and it had a preacher thing on it so i'm looking forward to getting back into that one ah god damn it anyway how's your week been? actually uh, the just... week's been this week the, the week has been extremely stressful it's been it's been largely populated with farting lack of sleep and uh and feeling rather unwell from just sheer stress <laughs> yeah that's understandable yeah, I I no, I, that, that's I couldn't do it. I mean, it's I find it hard enough putting up with the uh, no. Should I want to start this conversation? Ah, oh, what the hell? I find it hard enough putting up with the idiots, the trolls, and the haters on YouTube at the best of time. Mm. But putting a mod out, <laughs> oh, no. Oh yeah, I've not got the, the 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 hardcore trolls come at me yet, but no doubt that will happen very very shortly. So. Um, There'll be lots of blocking going on, I imagine. <laughs> be careful with that. Why? Get addicted I'm, to it like you. Get addicted to it and you just end up blocking everybody. <laughs> um, it just Actually, there's a thing. Schwarzy has just said, horrible drip tip, lovely RDA. I was just thinking about that just not two minutes ago. When Remember when you smoked a cigarette? Yes. You had this big, long filter. Yes. Would you ever have had a filter like like that site? When why did that become popular? I on occasions would depending on the cigarette, I'd cut the filter in half so I had a shorter filter. So yes. Yeah, but you're just hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, would that make roll ups tailpiping? True. There you go. Or TV. Um so yes, it's been a it's been a stressful week. It's been a very hot, sweaty week. It's been a yeah. Uh, um, I actually did two videos, and neither of them were live ones. So yay me on that one. I'm quite proud of myself. But um, I'm hoping to actually do more videos, kind of now ish. Sure. Nice. But it's still going to be like you know, it, maximum of three videos a week. There's never going to be any more than that. Um, uh, plus the Monday Night Live, of course. Um, but there you go. So how's your week been? What's going on with you? What's happening? Uh, nothing. I live a sad, but oh no, the exciting news. I bought a paddling pool for my dog. 
that's fantastic. That's, oh, I'm presenting to everybody. Why? Oh, oh, because when I when I have a little vape, it takes it takes it away from you. I just put you presenting. So crack on. I'm just. Well, hang up. I'll do my shirt up. I don't, I don't want to show my vest off. Do you want to see my tan? See my tan. Anyway, um, no, it's been a pretty quiet week. Uh, I've a couple of reviews up. Not as many as you, obviously, because um, I'm part. I'm part time. Um, um, I <laughs> fucking full time belly. <laughs> <laughs> you see the thing is I get all these insults in because I know that come October when we actually catch up next time you'll have forgotten all about this oh, I'll tell you I'm, I am I am on it I am on it now I'm making a list and everything checking it twice and shit. a list <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally that organised <laughs> so what have you reviewed other than my amazing mod that's clearly the best squonker on the planet then you're jealous. But what, um, else, what else have you done? I reviewed your mod and and said lots of positive things about it. You did, and some negative things. He said, "No, uh, here's the thing." He said, "Shape." Uh, and then over the weekend, said, "Get messages with him going, look at I'm still using. Hey, back off." <laughs> 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 oh, so the shape's not for me. I'm using it though. It's fucking marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it, I just yes, I stand by my review. Good, I stand by my review. I would expect yeah. nothing else. Although I do demand that that money back that I sent you. That's that was just wrong. <gasps> oh, you <laughs> want to go there? You do. You so do not want to go there. <laughs> <clears throat> or at least uh, paper in return. That's. I'll tell you, I've ordered another 30 and I'm building a wall outside the garden there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, can I do the whole, uh, it's not really that big. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, what else have I been? I did a review for the, the Vapor Giant uh, Cloudy, Cloudy V5M. Okay. No, it's not, it's not the M. I have to read it. It is. Ah, uh, the V5M, uh, which is would probably for an RTA be right up your street. Um, well, but um, okay. RTAs, yeah. Ah, uh, I know, but it's actually you, you, you can, it's in black and it's got fancy eagles on it and and shit like that. I tell and, you, I'm not a huge fan of black atomizers, which is a surprise because I like black everything, but black atomizers just don't don't really do it for me a lot of the time. I think a lot of them because you get one fraction of juice on it. Or on your fingers, and it just—they look shit instantly. Yeah, uh, that, that's that's fair enough. Um, but if I could get one of their stacked vapor giant mods in black with that black tank on top of it, that would be fucking cool. Just like this. If, if anybody would like to buy a basium for twenty pounds, twenty pounds, just. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <laughs> opening bid. Opening bid. Twenty pounds. <laughs> um, what else have I been up to? Uh, not a lot, mate. Honestly, uh, it's, I've got. Uh, I got. Oh, I got a new um, prototype uh, EVL uh, that made the the Reaper. Oh yeah, uh, yeah nice to see. Nice to see him back. Uh, the, I've got uh, this. Oh, whoa, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That little guy. Okay. Tiny little thing. Is it, the, the sort of, well, I guess you can't talk about what's on the inside of it. No, unfortunately not. Um, it's, it's, there might be some major, not major changes, but changes coming along to it. But it's, it's, very, it's, it's got a massive juice well inside, but it's got a very reduced chamber for the yeah. coil. Um, 22 mil? 22, yes. Gotcha. Um, but uh, it's... Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think there'll be a couple of changes to it. Um and uh well did I, sh did I show you this last week, this little squonker thing that came from Russia? I d oh, I don't think you did. Uh that came from Russia last um little three D printed jobby. Um Is that is that actually three D printed with, with different colour filament or is that just dyed? To uh, to have no, it's color. it's um, just a standard three D print, but he's he's actually he does a 
pinch them himself as well. Okay. But it's, it's got a firing button here and here. Okay, that's interesting. Is it a full mech inside there? So you've got the, you know, like... Yeah, a, they're, they're, they're all just... So, full mech. Yeah. Um, it's it's it feels like uh, you know it feels like something that you might have printed uh, and rough <laughs> roughness wise it, it's got that it's smooth it's getting smoother the more i use it but when i initially took it out of the box it was quite rough um but it's, it's not yeah it's not bad it's not bad i like the idea of the fire buttons i think i think it would probably look a little bit sexier if it was just one color rather than being having the paint on it yeah, that's that's my um, with you on that one. I think that as soon as you slap, it's like you know, customizing your car or your bike or something like that to your taste. Yeah, just you know, that really limits the audience, your market. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's as rough as a badger's arse. Oh. <laughs> um, it's yeah. Ah, so I'm just reading some of the comments. Um. Anything else? Um, no, a uh, uh, juice. Oh, I've got an old friend on the juice front. The lovely Mr. Simon Sawyers uh, sent me some peachy fields. Oh, you tried, which oh, I've, yeah. I've not had for so long. No, I haven't had any of that. I, that was a really good peach as well. Yeah, it, it's fit. The strange thing is, I think the last time I vaped this was RTA days, you know, like. Mm. Um, more you know higher resistance coils and whatnot yeah so it arrived and i put it straight in a dripper 50 watts and and it was oh too much it's far too much um but he's he, he's got a, a new a new liquid coming out soon as well which is is very scrumptious uh it's very cakey with custard very nice too there we, i did a thing today talking about that peach thing where i put on, on my social media on instagram and facebook and twitter um about uh, make sure you go follow me on uh, on on instagram so i beat mr todd um but um uh, at the underscore underscore vapor um uh, anyway Yes, um, the uh, I did a thing. I put a post out and asked for recommendations, and I asked for peach or strawberry or pineapple, kind of fresh flavors without coulard in it, without mint in it, without menthol in it, but just fresh things. And oh my Christ, I did not expect the uh, the the responses that I've got. I think I've got about eighty odd on on uh, on on Instagram and and. Uh, a fair few on uh, on the Facebook page and all that sort of good stuff as well. So I need to go through and actually see them. I, d I haven't seen any flavour out of all of these these um, responses. Um, I've not really properly had the time to study them yet, but I've not seen any flavour repeated more than once. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's a bit worrying when you've got you know eighty odd, ninety different people or a hundred or whatever people saying completely different flavours. What do you go for? <laughs> There. but i'm think, still on the hunt for a really nice fresh summery flavor with one of those kind of situations going through it you know yeah i, I did the same thing in my facebook group for the the custards and there I was like you there was a huge list of different custards but there was a lot of people saying that you know they all vaped this one or that one so that, mm. that was quite good um but um, other, other than that, um, somebody's asking, what, what build have you got in the attic on your Basium? I've got four different builds. Oh, I think two of the builds are using my normal um, dual coil, uh, dual coil Claptons that are flattened that I did uh, the video on a while ago. And, uh, and I don't know what's in the other ones. I can't remember. Can you remember? But yes, something like that. But I'm vaping them. I think I've got them. <laughs> okay, it's like, you're like, oh, fuck me sideways. <laughs> I don't know whether this is going to come through, but they're all on 66.6, .6, apart from one that's randomly on 71, 71 watts. Don't understand what's happened there, and I will rectify it immediately. You do have issues. <laughs> 
but uh but yeah hang on i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go 70 a straight 70 on that one now <coughs> i've got i've got something just to point out that you got wrong on your uh, on your review by the way um it goes up in point one increments unless you're scrolling in which case it goes up into in one increments in one more increments just so you know so there we go I just there's, there's a difference between getting something wrong and not mentioning it <laughs> yeah i tell you you're a case um <laughs> i mean going, going on that you could say that i also got the the minimum resistance wrong as well because i never mentioned that either shocking shocking uh, I, tell you, I, I expect more from the number two reviewer but you know if you work hard you'll, you'll get up there my friend I was just, I was just, I was just, I was, I was walking a thin line doing that review. I really was. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the honesty, and I think it's, I think it's good that that, um, you know, I mean, it's because normally you have these dinky little tiny little single battery mods, and they're your, your that it'd be fair to say that's your favourite kind of mod style, right? Yeah, I mean that that's the thing. I mean, I struggle to do a comparison with another. I don't have a dual, another dual battery squonker. Yeah, it's it's all single 18650, 2700 type thing. So it's the, it's the only one that I happen to shed. Um, and and I mean I'm, I'm vaping a 0 0.15 ohm dual coil build at 50 watts, which is 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 not. I'm enjoying it. It's not my preferred style of vape, but. But then in saying that, you don't have to vape. That's the thing. You don't have to vape a cloudy build on it just because it's 180 watts. Yeah. No, yeah. exactly. Exactly. It's And it's one of those things, if you do put like a, 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 I don't know, a 0 0.5, 0 0.7 coil in something and uh, and you want to have a poodle about without the battery life will last you forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that that is, I mean, without blowing smoke up your arse, that is one of the really impressive things about it is the battery life. It's, That's the one. But, yeah, I mean, I designed the layout of the board, but I didn't design the board itself. So thanks for pointing out the, you know. No, no, no. I mean, that's the things that you, I suppose. The box was nice, mate. I've got to give that. I mean, the box was nice. I mean, well done. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's good. And I think it's, it's you know, I, I think probably some people expect it because, because we're friends for you to sort of gush all over it and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's, it's good that you had a, an objective thing, the same as you would do with anything else. So I think, well done. Good. No, no, no. If you'd given me fucking money, I would have said anything you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I offered a read your own, but you weren't interested. It did. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but no it's uh, it's it's gone down really really well so far so i mean like i said earlier on it's not going to please absolutely everybody but it's it's not a big mod it's a different shape in your hand and and for me it's 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 a shape that just works really really well for for how i like mods and that's when you're designing anything like this all you can do is design something to how you like to to vape and then hope that other people dig it as well and and fortunately i think quite a few people do so that's yeah. it's uh it's exciting it's fucking stressful but it's exciting i don't i don't think i'll be doing it again too early i tell you that no, you, you see that now you see that now <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna do like a, a triple stacked six battery fucking mother bastard of a thing just for the germans just a big fuck off one that'd be cool <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> uh right i guess we better throw it out there to chat to see if anyone's um anyone's got anything exciting that they want to ask us if there's anything that you do have to say then uh or ask either me or mr todd start it with at vaping biker or at todd's reviews and uh, we will we will be able to answer it if you can put your, your question in uppercase that would be even better because it means that we can see it because we're both old and blind. Um, so jobs are flipping good. So there's people talking about coils in chat at the moment. Uh, someone got a DNA 250C, thinks he's in love, says Dan Stan 28. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of good stuff going on there. Um, now then, the, the idea of saying it's not shit. Do you feel at all guilty about overpopularizing that phrase? <laughs> <laughs> whilst a handful of people did use it previously now thanks to you mr todd it's 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 a it's a thing 
it's well there you go it's a thing <laughs> you can talk <laughs> you can talk <laughs> you know yourself it's it's you post i mean that's the thing i mean you post up a photo of something when it arrives and you see you actually see in the description just arrived yeah and then you get a, a shit ton of questions about what does it vape like what's it like to build on will it impress women all that kind of stuff yeah. so it's not shit it's just my catch-all yeah absolutely. It, just, it covers everything yeah and it's not you know you like you say you can't make your uh can't make your mind up straight away can you? you you know you take weeks to be able to get something out of the time yeah um what else have we got uh of course you will we'll need an rda as well i very very i've always said that i'd never do an rda unless i could do something really different um and i'm not really clever enough to design an rda because it's too in intricate um and uh and so you know i mm, yeah I, I definitely wouldn't count on that one ever happening will i be able to buy your mod in iceland says billy the kid i have no idea i don't know it'd be really cheap if it was sorry <laughs> you milk and the you... mums would go mad for it <laughs> <laughs> um, no um i uh, i i don't uh I, I, don't I don't know um it's uh um it's all down to whether Delphpo have got someone in distro or, or or whatever in Iceland. If you've got a favourite supplier in Iceland, though, Billy the kid, then um, then drop them an email and tell them to get in touch with Delphpo because you want to buy one and you think loads of other people will. Um, uh, here we go. Cuz Steve, do you ever forget you're on air rather than in a chat occasionally? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Because from where, from we're in chat, we just sit there with cups of tea with our pinkies out. And we have very, very posh accents, Absolutely. not like just now. No, we have to, we have to be our different characters. We're, yeah, we're... We just, we just talk about the financial times and the uh, state of politics in the world. And absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um uh sinistral uh vaping bike and now you're now that you're in editing god are you going to teach todd how to do it no no <laughs> no <laughs> not interested not interested <laughs> um m16 did you know pantera's drummer vinny paul died a few days ago yes yes i did um no scott bogford why i don't know why i would have thoughts on it i don't know Pantera were very good back in the day. <laughs> That's it, really. I don't know, you know. Um, I didn't know the man, so I don't, you know, got nothing really to say on that one. Um, Dean, did you see where District 5 fixed the layer cake? Yes. Now then, that is a good point. Because um, I forgot to say when I was show saying what I was vaping on earlier on. I have uh, I have built up the District 5 layer cake again. This, this one is not going to get a review because this is not the one that's fixed those of you that remember last week um todd and i were discussing it about how it was crap that there was no insulator underneath and uh, you could short it out and how dangerous that was particularly with the with the sort of the popularity of mech mods and mech squonkers and all that sort of good stuff well apparently they have fixed it by doing something that they said they couldn't do and um sounds a bit like trump though um but uh, yeah, so it's fixed, it's done and dusted. Uh, but uh, if they send me a uh, uh, a new one with the with the fix on it, then yeah, sure, it'll get a review. But as for this one, it, I can't review it because it's not a current model. It doesn't, you know, it's not it's not what it should be. So um, we will have to see how that goes. Now, as far as it goes with the with the vape quality of it, though, I still think that this drip tip that they they ship with it. Um, I think another one comes with it as well. I can't remember. Um, but uh, the one that it comes with is far too short. It's far. It's definitely kind of form over function on that one, um, because I do find that this this uh, top cap gets really hot really quickly, um, and so uh, with it with it being such a short lip, unless I've just got really voluptuous lips, have I got kissable lips? Vote now. Vote one for yes and two for no. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I find that drip tip. It looks good, but it's a it's a bit crap in practice. But no, the the actual vape quality isn't terrible. Um, Todd's views. Any news on the Lost Vape Furion Black and Stainless Edition? Uh it's oh, excuse me, uh, like this thing. Yes. Yeah, it's um, it's coming. It's coming apparently. Um, 
this that, that's I had I, that's when I put my one of Rick's stainless steel tubes in it. It, it was a carbon fiber one that I I tweaked. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, uh, according to their Facebook page, uh, they are releasing them. They are releasing them. So, sure. um, uh, and according to a DNS eighty four. Uh, it's out already. Yeah, they're out. And uh, Sick Boy said as well. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Roy Glenister. All right, Roy, how you doing? Dean, can you show P uh, the Bassium against a few other mods? I did in my uh, presentation video, Roy. And it's better than me just holding things up because I can't get everything, you know, lined up properly. So go and check out that video because there is some, there's a couple of pictures in there that show the height and the, and the width compared to a couple of other popular squonk mods at the moment. Uh, DNA 250C triad review incoming. Not from me. Nice bike, mate. I don't have one. Uh, you've got one, though, Todd, haven't you? I have indeed, yes. Um, it'll be a very quick video. Yeah, absolutely. It's the same as the last one. but with a... Oh, no, Hank, actually, it's got, has it got a different top on it to the, the last triad? triad? Uh, no, it's, it's pretty much the same. Okay, fair enough. It's just it's color-coded, basically. Uh, depending on what version you go for, you can get a black top or a stainless steel top. Um, but obviously, with the DNA 250C board, you can also use it as a power bank as well. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's pretty much it. It's. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, the Vapor Biker weekly update on the Bonza 1.5. I've not spoken to Sam over the last week, I don't think. So I haven't got any more information on that one. Uh, what else have we got going on in heart? you seen anything? Yeah, I would just like to say to uh, Chris, you can never have enough carbon fiber in your life. You flipping can. Can <laughs> I tell you, I, I almost wrapped one of your mods carbon fiber today. <laughs> well, the really annoying thing is because because uh, Zap Wraps are going to be doing custom wraps for them. They offer carbon fiber wraps as well, so I know that at some point in time someone's going to wrap it in a carbon fiber wrap and just uh and just send me lots of pictures of it just to wind me up i know that's going to happen already but it, um it yeah should I, thing. The, it should be a thing shut up um but no i think you're going to get all of the normal and maybe one uh, uh, like a a, a a particular bassium wrap with my skull logo on it um as well if that sort of thing tickles your taste buds so zap wraps will be able to do that brian r can it be bought without an addy uh what are we talking about brian my my bassium doesn't come with an atomizer my friend um your new video shooting style is really nice hey from rainy greece says nikos um that sucks that it's it's june and it's raining in greece <laughs> that's 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 really bad um what else we got going on? Is the Bassium coming to Australia? Well, it might do. Friday Vape Club. It might well do. I uh, I was speaking to someone about that earlier in the week. So we'll see. But uh, but I'm not. I don't really do a whole bunch of the distro side of things. That's all down at Dofpo. Um, so uh, I, I will be going a lot on what, what they go for. Get information, stuff, things. What? <laughs> so when I hear things, I'll put it on the website. But uh, But there we go. Um, pink carbon fiber says Graham Vincent. I imagine that he's suggesting that for you, Mr. Todd. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> I was going to say something there, but this is a children's show, so I don't know. <laughs> Uh, do do a rap with Abbott Large? No, I probably won't. To be honest with you. Oh, did you see the comment on uh, my uh, on my review? And somebody said rather than it saying bye bye, it should have said Abbott Large. I did, I did see that, and that 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 would have been a nice idea, wouldn't it? Yes, that would have been very very good. <laughs> that would have been cool. But I, mean, I I was just quite pleased that rather than low ohms, I had a low and then an ohm signal. I I, I changed that. It's the little things that make me happy. Um, <laughs> uh, is there anything else? So I missed something. Can you charge the Bassium from the mod, or do you need an external charger? You need an external charger, and and uh, have control of your own battery safety. So make that thing. Obviously, the mod has all of the protection and all that sort of good stuff it needs, but you need to make sure that your batteries are in good form. So there we go. Once again, not going to be for everybody, but uh, I'll discuss that on Wednesday's video. So, and Wednesday's video is probably not going to be a super sexy 
kind of highly polished mega edited thing either so um it's going to be kind of a little bit more back to basics but then i'll be going going into the the posh ones again shortly after that so um, what, what is it you're doing on wednesday what is this video going to be it's it's thanks for for listening earlier it was it's one <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's, it's going to be one where i'm going to talk about the the, the origin and kind of show my kind of early uh, renderings and all that sort of good stuff i think i might have found the video that i sent you um last year when i did my first free 3d print when i was going dun, dun, da, 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 yeah. or whatever i was doing on it so um i'll probably throw that in there as well um but um yeah i'm going to do that i'm going to sort of answer a bunch of the the comments that have come in the comments generally seem to be around three things like onboard charging a centered 510 and 21700 so I'll, I'll focus on why they're not a thing um when uh, when i do the review no, when I do the video. And I'm also going to be doing some showing some of the testing that Dofpo put through it as well. Obviously, I haven't been to China to film it, but I got those guys to to do a bunch of filming for me. So um, I'm going to include that because I think it's interesting. Yes, there is. I like all that. Um, Hallmark, no upgradable firmware then. No, there's there's no requirement for it to be upgraded. It's It's so basic. It kind of there's literally nothing to upgrade <laughs> um uh ben's out all right see you later ben uh did phil Posado get a rev what oh review model um he got a present i don't know if he's going to review it but he got a present of one so um i doubt he'll review it to be honest with you but if you uh if you um uh uh catch up with him then uh, then uh, watch him on a live stream ask him what he thinks of it i guess watch him on the smokers show or something and uh, and see what he says uh but no that's happening i think dj lsb will have one as well so uh he'll probably stick it on his uh his um what's it called oscilloscope and all that sort of good stuff so uh we'll uh, we'll get a kind of a a um a, some feedback on that bad boy as well so there we go boom is there a stealth mode on the bassium no no there isn't no there isn't um I rarely do onboard charging, says Michael Potter. That's fair enough. Uh, heard the bassium on the fire. Uh, heard the board on the bassium fires fast. Yes, it's a quick fire. It's a quick fire. Um, and the thing is, it doesn't fire too quickly. In as much as it doesn't kind of over push it, like some mods that we've we've had recently that will kind of f put more into your coil straight away. So it seems that it, it fires quicker. It doesn't do any of that business. It just does what it says on the tin. So there we go. Um, by the way, a couple of people were asking as well what size atomizer it fits. Right at the end of the video, I did show a fair bit of footage showing the uh, the recoil Rebel, which is 25 on the outside, and uh, and it fits on top of it without any gaps. So there you go. Boom. Wallop. Uh, did you send one to Bogan? Yes, he's got one. There, I have never understood. I've never because I'm not someone that has sort of chased after manufacturers um for review items at most i've kind of contacted a manufacturer to ask if i can buy one um but i, I was inundated over the weekend with with people with like seven subscribers and stuff asking if they can have one to review and 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 it, it kind of it changed with I, I had some polite ones and some nice people then i just had some real rude bastards just just like with a fucking god-given gift to, to expect everything free on a plate and fuck that annoys me yeah i mean i had to pay for mine huh i had to pay for mine yes but that was only with dignity yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh dear uh the bassium looks good get mirage involved i will buy one um if mirage want to be involved they they more than welcome to be involved um so there we go dean did you try the new reload x rda no i haven't and i think the very first one that those guys produced i got one and i didn't really see what people were raving about i think it had some sort of sharp edges on an engraving on the top didn't quite understand it um and thought it was all right but it wasn't it didn't blow me away and uh, and they haven't spoken to me since then so there you go that's the thing um Sabre 100 watt from iJoy. I haven't got one. I might have one in a bag, but I've not. I've not opened one yet. Have you? Have you? You don't get anything from iJoy, do you? No, nothing. 
I think. Oh, um, don't I'm, not, I'm not buying it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is possibly the best username I've seen tonight. Doctor Ripper Dick off. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Uh, um, uh, uh, please compare the Bassium to the Beagle in size. <laughs> Since you asked. Hang on. I'll better... <laughs> you can fuck off. You tell you. Close. So, uh, this is uh, four 18650s, and this is the last one. There you go. Yeah, it's a little bit different then. It's just a little bit different. Okay, is the bassium as big as the tank you've got on top of the of the of the? The bassium is exactly the same size as the tank I am using there. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, <laughs> it's not. If you, it, uh, 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 triad. Have you got a triad there? Have you got any old ones? Um, no. Uh, that's good. Ah, no, I'm not getting into the whole size thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, will there be a full black bassium even with the buttons? Um, one of the things that I did talk to Dolph Power about was uh, getting getting black buttons, but because of the amount of wear and stuff that the, the buttons get, it was going to be it was going to be a sort of a difficult process, I think, and mean even more testing and stuff to get the black buttons sorted out. Um, and uh, and I, you know, it was one of those things where they're not going to be work for every every one of them. So no, there isn't any plans to have black buttons as yet. However, in the future, who knows? There might be, but uh, but certainly none at the moment because no, there isn't. Uh, Dana Todd, have you, have you reviewed the drag? I haven't, but the wonderful Schwarzy has on my uh, vapingbiker.co.uk. He did a wonderful written review of that last year, I think it was now. So go and have a read of that if you want to get his opinion on it. Um, did you ever, you, you actually reviewed the drag, didn't you? No, I never reviewed the drag. And um, I, I, I had the, what was the, the one with the shitty doors on it? The... Oh, yes. Uh, Vupu 2, was it? Yeah, and, and I, I never bothered with that. I don't think I bothered with that either. Maybe I did. Can't remember. It was uh, awful. It was truly awful. Uh, Carl Copson, I love the whole concept of the Bassium. Feels great in the hand and all that. I just wish you called it the Squanker. Oh, I tell you. Fucking. <laughs> 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 I should really read these questions before. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> um D vapes now. Will there be extra bolts for sale? When you get two in the box, you get the one installed in the mod, and then you get a spare along with the spare carrier as well. Uh, but also, you will get a um, you will get a uh, you can well no you won't get you can put any similar size bottles in you want. That's the whole principle for that particular design. In as much as they're not um, the bottles aren't uh, what's it called? Begins with P. Proprietary proprietary that's it they're not proprietary bottles so you can stick any similar size bottles in that you fancy as mr todd um demonstrated brilliantly with that super big one from um, mod maker as well good work and on that geronimo one. yeah and that went up to what seven and a half mil or something seven and a half mil. yep nice i like that one um <laughs> uh, mr mo pansu broke something in a few days don't know what that was oh that would have the voodoo i imagine Did you just give buff to something <laughs> 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 you know that question about do we forget that we're on a live stream <laughs> all of that belching and things just you yeah, know. But, uh, Chris, i've been dying to scratch my ass for about the past 20 minutes but i've held back from that i mean <laughs> <laughs> everyone keep an eye out and make sure he doesn't sniff his fingers because we're <laughs> <laughs> Tony the Bassium could mix your juice as well. That'd be a thing. It can. Look, I'm mixing juice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's covered a lot of those a lot of those questions coming out now. Uh, the belch on headphones was outstanding. I do my best to uh, to provide solid and structured feedback and uh, I don't know quality broadcasts. Um, so, Mr. T, what have you got coming up, my friend? What's happening? Are you traveling anywhere for, in foreign shores over the next week or so? Are you, I don't know, being a superstar vape god somewhere? Or what's happening? <laughs> Just, I've, I've, uh, what is next? What is next? That's, um, 
August, it's August before I think that's uh, Vape Fest is the next one I'm going to. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Um, no, nothing, nothing. I mean, even Christ, even reviews me. I've. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else this week because. Uh, yeah, because the sun's here. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's the summer, and you've got to make most of it. So I'm I'm really sorry, but uh, you know, I've I've got nothing exciting, um, vaping, vaping wise. Um, no. I could review your mod again. Yeah, why not? I could do another one. Go on, get it done. Yeah. <laughs> um. I, by the way, um. Sinistra just mentioned about vape fest again. Um. I did get. I had two messages over the weekend asking if I was going to vape fest and if the bastion was going to be there. Um. I am not going to vape fest, and the, I don't know who. I don't know which retailers are going to be there. So I don't know if vape for if uh, if the bastion will be there. So there we go. Don't know. I think Grey Hayes might be buying some, and I think Grey Hayes normally go to Vape Fest, don't they? Do they? Uh, not sure. I, uh, that explains it. Grey Hayes haven't commented on anything I've posted on Instagram in however long I've been on Instagram, but then they commented on my picture of the Basium. <laughs> 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 uh, I think Evolution might have it as well, but I don't. I don't really know yet, and I don't know if they're going to be going this year so um no i wouldn't hold fire for a bassium from fest because i don't know if anyone's going to have it no, i'm not oh. taking mine down <laughs> it's, too, it's too heavy and too big to carry I tell you, i'm just gonna start <laughs> in the festivals i'm just gonna are you getting a, a fucking sharpie right up here <laughs> <laughs> Lois Ashton, the D-Pro Mini, would you say the D-Pro Mini is less there than the Hadley? Yes, I would. Boom. There you go. Um, uh, Friday Vape Club is away. Nice one. Can you side-by-side side your mod with the Rage, please? Uh, yes, I did do in the uh, in the video, and I took pictures of it so you can see it, you know, pretty clearly rather than on a potato feed so yes i did go and check out that uh, that video and that will that will show you um there we go boom uh what reviews have you got coming up over the next week old cocker oh, fuck all. <laughs> sorry i've lost it i've got i've got so many bassium put downs and going through my head right now that i'm, I'm just trying i'm trying to behave myself <laughs> trying to behave myself i mean i'm not saying i'm disappointed that my extensive range of 30 mil RDAs. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't use any of them with your <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking bad. <laughs> no, seriously, you know how many 30 mil RDAs I've got. Oh, just teaming with them, falling out of the oh, shed with them. And I couldn't use any of them in the review. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in that miser unless it's at least 40 mil and mods can get fucked if they don't hold 50 mil for bollocks term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not even going to go down the route of mentioning that you, you could have had hoses going at 45 and 90 degree angles inside the mod you can and got that 510 slap bang in the middle. That would be great. Get around. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to just, just mute me. I'll stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. <laughs> um, vapor biker what do you do with loads what what do you do with loads tanks if some vendor sent big pass with loads of 25 scion tanks and five aspire well i i don't get it jay jerry so that's not an issue that i have to contend with i'm afraid i think mr todd gets more um oh, bigger numbers of uh of products than i do but uh, I've uh, I've I've been very very lazy. But I'm about to be doing. There's going to be a bunch of um, like postage cost sales going on on my Patreon, and there will also be a uh, charity raffle or two coming up on the channel at some point. So that's definitely going to be happening. There. Um, is yours lighter than the Rage? I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I've not measured them. I've not measured them devapes. Now I imagine they're fairly similar in weight. They're both dual battery. They're both made of metal, and they're both um squonkers so i imagine fairly similar sort of uh sort of thing we do i really want one but the side button concerns me it's not a side button it's on the it's on the front there or it's on the back but then if you want it as a side button it's on the side 
<laughs> um, no chance of reviewing the Cthulhu Zathog then. Certainly not for me. But did you? Did you, did you don't, don't even ask me. <laughs> don't ask me. It's not happening. <laughs> no, I hope he. I hope he's uh, he's uh, he's got it together on that one, and uh, and it's more popular. But I know nothing about it as yet. So. Apart from it's got that, I thought when I saw the design, I thought that those kind of like dual half pipe sort of situations were the airflow, but I don't think they actually are, are they? It's uh, two, there's two air hole slots on, on both sides. Right. Okay. Because I thought it was like the, like the Amit things and like the recurve where it has the thing with all the air coming up underneath, but it, I don't think it is. No, no. It's, it's, it's got the two air hole. It just brings out the high notes, and you're just. <laughs> <laughs> Was getting out if some random parcel ever came with loads of same tanks or something. I don't get loads of anything, Jay Charity. So it's it's not a thing. I I um, DNS eighty four. There we go. Good point. Did you already va mention vaping V one C case charity raffle? I have not, but he's got a fantastic raffle going on for a really really good cause at the minute. So go and check out Rich's channel vaping v1ck and uh, and go and check out his uh, his thing i think he recently put a couple of posh things in there didn't he put like his e phoenix squonker in there and a couple of bits and bobs as well i think yes he did yes there we go so there's a there's a bunch of stuff and uh <clears throat> Don't forget, as with any of these sort of charity things, just get involved. It only costs you a couple of quid, and it goes to a good cause. And uh, if you if you end up winning stuff you don't want, then you can appear like a hero by giving it to other vapor chums that are always after some stuff. So you know, everyone's a winner. Absolutely. Um, uh, there you go. What was the pumper and the e phoenix? There we go. The pump. What? The what? The Asmodus Pumper 18 or 21. <laughs> okay. I, just, I, just, I didn't put that in context of anything then. I just heard you <laughs> randomly say, Pumper. Pumper. Triple <laughs> <laughs> uh, X, please put your autograph on a couple, Mr. Dean, and put them up uh, for Facebook uh, on Facebook for a charity. I don't know. Nobody really wants my autograph on a mod, for fuck's sake. Those, uh, I have autographed a few mods at shows and things, and I've also done like hats and all sorts of round. I autographed a couple of people's phones at one point, which is terrifying. Um, but um, now I'm, I'm fairly confident that people don't want to autograph. If I do do that, then I'll, I'll put a little kind of autographed postcard thing in there as well. So, which is an idea that I just ruthlessly stole from from Mr. Todd. <laughs> um, do a Todd and show snippets of your previous bikes. It will be more interesting. More interesting than what? Are you saying that we're dull? Is that what you're saying, Craig? But no. <laughs> He's taking, taking the piss out of me. Oh, he, fair enough. Crack on with it then. Did you get the Chief King RDA from Squid Industries? No, Paul Paulson. I did not. I did not get that at all. Um, Todd's reviews, well done on your dog charity. Yes, you did a spectacular job. Or your followers and subscribers and things did a spectacular job. How much did you, did you raise for that charity? £3,000. That's amazing. That, yeah, yeah. I was well chuffed with that. I was well chuffed. That's um, obviously it was a really cool prize, but th that's all I did. I just put something up. It was all the people that donated did a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, so it's really good. Nice. So definitely something to be proud of. That should keep the shelter open for a while. I must. I, I must. Yes, absolutely. Um, Dave Mottram says you you promised to sign his moves at Expo. That's something that's <laughs> possibly could happen. That's that depends on whether or not he sends me biscuits. Oh, that reminds me. I would just like to say um, that uh, I did. Did you get a whole pile of these mouth to lung coils? No. Coilology. No. Yeah, I got a whole pile pile of them. Is so there a load of like N eighty in there? Uh, stainless steel 316 and ni80 yeah yeah um, no, because i don't i've said no to them before because they, the majority of what they did was n80 so it's pointless because i don't i don't use n80 and they, they do little packs like this as well so evolution vaping they're going to have them in obviously they're not as good as pilgrim vapes 
coils. <laughs> Possibly not. Possibly not. I wouldn't know. I, I didn't even get the posh pilgrim folks ones. I got I got some ratty old things with a cup. I don't think I've got any left here. You as well. Did you get the ratty shitty ones from Pilgrim Vapes that make mouth lung coils? Uh, I got yeah, the, the ones without the logo on it and all that sort of. There we go. Look, that's it. He couldn't be asked to put a proper logo on mine. Is that all you got? Is yeah, it, did, you get, did you get biscuits? Did you no, get biscuits? Uh, I can't remember. I think I, I think might have done. done. I'll tell you, you'd think. I mean, if somebody wanted, you know, reviewers to show their gear off, they would go that extra mile and put some effort in. Throw a couple of drifter bars in or something like that. You'd yeah, think. yeah. It's pretty shit, but I don't know. I don't. Anyway. <laughs> 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 it's lucky he's a good lad, isn't it? <laughs> lucky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, uh, he gets, he does get the promotion, but he gets a power of slagging at the same time. <laughs> I think it's entirely fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, told you, uh, uh, to uh, there we go. Um, when is Mister Todd bringing up uh, bringing us his mod? And Benjamin says that it's probably going to be made of tweed. <laughs> it's not. It's um, I'm actually there's a tree in my garden. I'm going to cut down, and I'll be selling slots um, and putting a list up. And you'll be able to buy a chunk of a tree. It'll take me about two years to make each mod, but you have to pay ninety percent deposit first. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. And receive no updates. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, entirely reasonable. And what I would do: too many people are stabilising the wood these days, so I wouldn't even bother with doing that. I wouldn't. I, it's rather, it's not a case of not bothering. Just don't stabilise it. Be different. Allow that wood to swell and and move around with uh, <laughs> with when juice gets in it. Just you know, be different with it and try it because it's high end. Because I remember the uh, the kind of the, especially the older school seriously high end one. Make sure that there's there's lots of gaps, like big fucking gaps, not just little little bits, but big fucking gaps. <gasps> no, do you know what I should do? What I should make make a mod out of OSB. What out of this, out of this stuff? Out of this the stuff the sheds. <laughs> that would be brilliant. That would be awesome. Um, do it. You said it now. Make it a thing. <laughs> um big love going out to you lassie i hope it gets better uh will you be reviewing the e-leaf squeezer 2 e-leaf squeezer 2 are you talking about the oh yeah, he's called the squeeze 2 um i might do i don't know professional don't know. reviewer me professional reviewer <laughs> <laughs> i'm all over it um i don't know to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of this RDA. I've decided that one without a doubt. But I know that I, I, I went back in trying in my kind of old emails and stuff um, uh, a while ago, like a week or two back, because this reminds me years ago, I bought a, a mod from Fast Tech. It wasn't a clone, but it, it was kind of black and white squares. It had this kind of this oval sort of shape going on to it. And it was black and white squares that were all going up and it had a board like right at the top up here with a button just underneath it. And I have no idea what it was called, but this reminds me so much of it. It's ridiculous. I hate, I hate the, the sort of the glossy finish and that it feels like it's got a really cheap button on it. And I don't like the, the cap for the, for the, uh, for the, for the battery. Um, so I do not like the, the feel of it one bit, but um, can no. I just, really can, I, can I, can I just say that instead of all those words, you've just used you could have said it's shite <laughs> i could have done but See? that would be doing a disservice i'm a professional reviewer you know that that's where it's shite comes into play <laughs> <laughs> but no i'm gonna give it i, I, I don't know i probably now now the majority of this the, the bassium stress because uh, what a lot of people don't understand or don't know about is all the background work that goes into these sort of things which stopped me doing so much stuff outside of uh, of, uh, of of working on that um that um now i'm kind of getting back into things again um and uh, and the majority of the work's done on that then uh, then yes I may do it. Um, it might just be a live review or it might just be a live kind of broadcast of some description showing people about it. But uh, but I think anybody that watches me doesn't expect like a review for a brand new piece of kit that's just come out. I don't think that's a that's a thing. Um, 
Huh? Nothing. I was just agreeing with you. <laughs> and uh, and so yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, but yeah, I I don't like the way it feels. It might just be the black one. I do not like the way it feels, and the buttons feel cheap. Aff. So there we go. That's the thing. But I don't even know how much money it is to be honest with you. Oh oh, Chris, but the the, the T Max S eighty. I think that was the one. T Max S. That seems, seems like it. Oh, that's the one. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang you on a minute, boys and girls. I'll be right with you. Tech talk. <laughs> uh, open image in new tab. Let's do that. Right. Now, how do we do a. How do we do a, a sherry thing? Where's where's the options gone? No, Todd, where's the options gone? How do I share a screen? Where's it gone? Okay. Who who edits your videos for you? Shut your hole. The 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 dots have gone. There's normally little dots, isn't there? That's it's just yeah. Ah, screen. No, shut up. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dull. You really are. You're so dull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Ah, oh, shit, I just pressed on the wrong one. Right, here we go. <laughs> this thing. Oh, you bought that. I did. I did. And this was a this was a beast. This was a this was an animal of a thing. Um, I really I, I actually really, really liked it. It I, it died very quickly after buying it. Um, but look at that 510. Look at that fucker. How sexy is that? <laughs> so yes that was the, that's the thing that is the exact thing that the uh the, the what's name reminds me of massively i like that i just ian's just saying great it speak the dots have gone <laughs> <laughs> hey i'm nothing if i'm not technical <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> Lois, I foresee technical problems in the near future. I did it. Look, it's shared and it's come back, and I've not wrecked my ratio. <laughs> hey, get out of here. There, there's a good question from Nicholas. I actually quite like that. Um, right. you, you look at the market with non regulated squonkers, and there's so many of them. Yes. And so many designs, shapes, forms, and blah, 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 blah. You know, they're, they're everywhere. Yes. Uh, but the regulated ones, there's. Not that many. No, I think it's down to size. I think it's down to the fact that a lot of people that <laughs> will whinge about the size on this want yeah. a little single battery as small as possible mod um, and a board because uh, you've, you've got to, with a lot of boards and especially things like DNA boards and that, it's not just the board size that, that kind of takes up the space but a lot of the time especially dependent on what the material of the mod is um they need a little bit of space for the air to circulate around them to you know keep the the board cool as well so if you if you imagine that a board is going to take up more or less the same sort of space as a battery um or maybe kind of like two-thirds of it or something like that then yeah. you've got your your squonk bottle which is going to be a battery size and then you've got a battery as well when you've got single batteries a lot of people want more power or more longevity um and then when you go to two batteries it can make the mod pretty damn big that's yeah. what i think anyway what about you no no i i, I totally agree it's um i think <laughs> that's the thing there's so many good designs out there that just a bit of tweaking they could yeah throw a board in there and make something pretty sexy yeah yeah um, I think I'm getting the um, the new DNA 75 Vicious Ant um, squonker coming through soon, so I'm really excited to see what sort of size that is compared to the to the to the the mechanical versions that they do. Yeah, but no, when it comes to dual battery, it's just going to be it's just going to they, they tend to be larger, and you know, the vapors can be an unreasonable bunch. Not only do they want kind of a highly sought after RDA or something and and pay 25 pence for it. But also, they want all the power in the world that's going to last forever and take 400 mil atomizers, but they want it to be the size of a fucking matchbox. Yes. And, you know, at some point in time, we have to 
we have to kind of recognize that there's only so many things that we can do to squeeze things into a box. Yeah, that's um, hi. One of the exciting things, I think Planet of the Vapes today uh, had an article today um, about some new battery technology that uh, some companies are looking into in, in, in the Americas um, at the moment. And, and that could be pretty exciting because it's, it's but they're basically layering the internal of a battery differently. So it's going to be lighter and possibly smaller as well but yeah. with more with more power, I think, from what I read. Um, so that's worth uh, that's worth looking forward to but we're not going to say anything like that for for a couple of years at least um are there many dual battery mechanical squonkers asks rick fine mods yeah fine mods do them um abstract Ooh, defined, defined designs defined designs do the the, the ds yep and the ts i mean that's the thing i mean no, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch what I say sometimes. <laughs> the Regadillo is tiny. That's that little little one, that little posh one, isn't it? From Armadillo. Is it Armadillo mods? Armadillo, yeah, it's a that, stunning little thing. That is lovely. Have you seen that little one called Volcano? The Volcano? Yeah. There's a lovely looking 3D printed mod called Volcano. I can't remember who does it, and I think it's ridiculously expensive, so it's right up your alley. But it's got that kind of shape where it goes up and then it kind of goes in at the top and the, the RDA sits in the middle. I've seen it. Very nice. Yes, that looks yes. that looks super sexy. And I think that's got a board in it, but I think it's a die code. So for me, that's a big fucking no, because the die codes is just so confusing for me. I can't I can't cope with that board. It just does me right in. If it's the new one, if it's the the new iteration, you know, the redesigned interface, then it's it's not that bad actually. Really, it's quite simple. It's a it's a lot better than it used to be. Okay, okay, yeah. The last one that I saw was probably I don't know two years ago, and it was it was hell on earth to try and figure out how to make it work. I hated it. Hated it. Yeah, so that, that that's is that two years that was the, the the mod that you made that was stuffed with cotton wool <laughs> one of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> the green one i've still got it in my uh, in my little collection somewhere but yeah it's um it uh it, yeah i didn't i didn't get on with that at all um the oh, the the yee the sx 350j one that the one that i royally knackered up doing <laughs> i basically may as well have just got a drill and then just taken a run up and just gone fucking with the blindfold on because pin the tail on the on the mod would have been more successful than the holes that i drilled in that but that board was held in with uh with uh with cotton ball <laughs> muji is multifunctional i tell you <laughs> that's, that's, i would just like to insert a disclaimer here that the the, the bassium is not constructed with any cotton wool. No, I did not construct it, so it's going to work. <laughs> uh, am I going to review the Rift Core Duo Tank? No, I'm probably probably not. To be honest with you, um, the USV Mac Mark Mac Mac ON3 looks to have some interesting innovation going. Absolutely, and I did speak to uh, USV. I think I might get one to review. I don't know. I don't know about that one, but uh, we'll see um what is the efficiency of the bassian board very efficient there we go 94.7 mm, percent <laughs> that is not a uh, uh confirmed figure um no, no 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 hang on you're right it's not <laughs> 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 anyone see the vandy vape capstone rda that's the is that the thing that's got that really weird have you seen it it's got this kind of hexagon not hexagonal but like a pyramid spiky outer on the on the barrel i think it looks really really strange no nah, not seen it not seen it mate fair enough um mr gibbs what do you think uh, what do you think chaps think will be the next big craze thing in the vaping world uh People, I, I think that the, the, the ne this year, 2018, people are actually going to start watching reviews in a shed. <laughs> I, I, I but they're, they're going to sit in in a shed just to watch my reviews. Is that what you're saying? Clone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is more wood like than what you've got. Shut your face. No, 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 you can get pumped. No. <laughs> That's I, I make the effort. I I have to walk out into my garden and sit here, whereas you just sit in a room in your house and pretend that you've made the effort to go out to your shed. <laughs> That's I tell you, this is this there's more of an effort to get into this studio now. With the amount of different recording stuff that I've got going on and different set areas, which are all fun now because I've got gear everywhere. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a bloody nightmare. Um, <laughs> question: Is the Saver RTA all that? Yes, it's jolly good for the money. Yeah, it is actually. There um, we go. Go and buy one if you like your restricted MTL, loose MTL, tight, not not well, you know, restricted direct lung. For the money, I think it's uh, it's it's definitely worth a purchase. Yeah. So go and buy one. Uh, double A battery mods. No, we're not going to see a bunch of those. We're not going to see a bunch of those. I think um, this is going to be the year of the Bassium. <laughs> 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 um, but I, I do think we're going to we're just going to see a lot more dual battery squonkers. I think. We'll, we'll, but it's going to be interesting because I, I'm going. I'm looking forward to seeing how the market goes because either for a dual battery, it's either got to be wider or it's got to be taller. Or, or or whatever else and and vapors are going to have a, an interesting time because they want to use 21700 batteries but don't want a big mod well that's not going to work so that goes back to what we said earlier on so it'll be interesting to see um what other designs and what other shapes come up with dual battery squonkers because i think we will see more and uh, i certainly hope we'll see more anyway because they're good they're great um thinking of getting the lug wismic lug exotic your thoughts you liked it yeah, I've still got. Where is mine? It's up there. No, it's there. Yeah, I've still got mine. I still use mine as a out and about and just nip it to the shops. It's it's a good little mod. Yeah, yeah, I've got one here, and I've I've not used it a whole bunch because I haven't reviewed it because I got it so so late. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a fun little mechanical. Is it mechanical? I can't remember. No, this no. Yeah, yes, no. no. But uh, it's a fun little unregulated mod. So get that up. Um, pod mods with more power. I don't think we're going to see more power pods because they're going to not be pods. Then they'll just be tanks with with mods, but small. Uh, evolve. Yes. Now, ah, that's going to be something to look forward to. The evolve, the evolve pod, um, or the evolve starter kit. That is that is going to be really exciting. Really yes. exciting. Mm -hmm. So I think that could be a uh, a definite. Um, a, a definite game changer, I think, in in vaping, especially for for new starters. I think it's going to be a godsend. Um, right, I think eighteen three fifties. God, God, no! Never went away. <laughs> never went away. Eighteen three fifties. I did not like eighteen three fifties at all. <laughs> um, I'm vaping on one right now. Look, here we go. I've got a little 18350 copper something from from Aria. Remember Aria? Yes. Beyond Vape, guys. It's got a little snake, little circular snake on it, I think. Um, can't remember the name of it. It's got a funky little shape to it going on. But um, uh, I think Brian from Plumes of Hazard sent it to me. And uh, I, I, it's far too small. I don't understand how you big guys get all excited about these dinky tiny little mods because i'm not a big fella and the dinky tiny little mods do my head in <laughs> it's because we're big guys that we like the wee things <laughs> there's the, there is a reason for that we won't go there um <laughs> I, I think this is going to be the year for stainless steel mesh as a wicking material i think yep. that's coming back no. What is in like for Jennies and things? <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> I actually thought you were being serious then, because I would not put that past you. <laughs> oh, that's you. No, you have to be. You have to be a little bit twisted to to go down that route. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. 
then i think we are done i think we're done this evening unless you've got anything that you uh I, you seem to like the jd tomahawk yes that the, the jd tech tomahawk was great i did enjoy that one and uh but that wasn't 18350 that was an 18650 so you know um but um no i think we're i think we're pretty much done and dusted for the evening i'm absolutely shattered so uh yes there we go anything you want to uh, mention talk about say uh no no i'm going to go because westworld final i want to go and watch the finale i bet you stay up and watch preacher as well i am going to stay up and watch preacher <laughs> I am. <laughs> um, right so uh for more information about the bassium be sure to check back on the channel make sure you've, you're subscribed and you've got the little notification bell switched on I think YouTube is starting to get a little bit better with notifications, but they're still not brilliant. So Wednesday night, hopefully there will be a video up telling you a little bit more about that. If you've not watched the presentation video of the Bassium, go back and check on that. I do I do a, a sort of more of a breakdown about the mod and um, show some pictures comparing it to some other squonkers as well. So it'll give you a decent size reference as well. Because I think one thing that I do think is that while it's an odd shape, um, and something that is, is going to be very kind of marmite for 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 for, for some people. Um, it certainly isn't as big as it looks when it's by itself, if that makes sense. So um, yes, go and check that out. But also, I will be, hopefully be able to tell you more about the information going up on vapingbiker.co.uk about that as well, about where you're going to be able to get it from and all that sort of good jazz. Uh, but if not, I'm fingers crossed then i'll be able to put something up by the end of the week about that one but 6th of july is when it's released and when, when it'll be in shops there will be some more reviews coming out on youtube about it over the next week or so as well i imagine um but that's about it if you want to go and check out merch then you can do that on vapingbiker.co.uk as well and um I think we're uh, pretty much done other than obviously mentioning that if you do want to support the channel, go ahead across to Patreon or in the link down below. There's also a PayPal.me link if you just want to do a one-off one -off support thingy jiggy to buy, buy me software and cameras and stuff. But uh, that's it. I think we're good to go. Right. That was a hell of a sign up. I could I could feel myself falling asleep while talking then. <laughs> you need to pre-record that bit. I do. <laughs> just to, just to automatically play at the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Buy my raffle tickets. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. In, in the meantime, as Russ says, don't forget to go and check out Richard V1's uh, Vaping V1C Gay. Go and check out Richard's um, uh, charity raffle because it's for a jolly good cause. <sighs> I'd just like to mention that I do do reviews and I have a small vaping channel. Just, just thought I'd mention that. He gets really upset. Go and check out his, his review of the Bassium. There yeah. we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to me on Instagram. The ah. underscore <laughs> underscore biker. Thank you. Oh, what's the, what's the scores in the doors? What's... what's well, we are. Look, people don't care about this. This is some, but fuck it. I'm going to look now. Right. I'm, 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 I'm going to check as well. Um, I uh, oh sixteen point eight, sixteen point amps. Oh, you're almost caught up with me. I'm seventeen point three. That's that's no. There's still like a bunch. So you know. So there we go. Go there. You're on sixteen point nine. You loon. <laughs> right there we go. I need like a hundred more followers on Instagram <laughs> just so I can I can beat him. So go and go and follow me on Instagram, please. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> righty ho okay we're away i'm not gonna fuck about it tonight because i can't be asked okay okay right are you gonna cloud out uh yes i'm going to cloud out on my basium the one that you don't like using because okay that's okay i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go for it <laughs> presenting to everyone so everybody thank you very much for joining us we'll see you later have it large well fucking where were you it's not working you, I tell you, <laughs> I'm going to, honestly, just one day, I'm just going to rock up in this, honestly, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn up in the shed, and I'm just going to stab you in the testicles. Yeah, okay, I'm good to go, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next Monday for Monday Night Live. Right, what?
Look, I said I wasn't going to fuck about it. You came too early. I tell you, that was a one-hit deal. That's You're not getting any more. You, I'm you, gonna take, oh. you I'm going to, honestly, <laughs> just sometimes, sometimes, I don't, you, you, it's, like, it's like putting up with a child. It really is. Right. <laughs> Seriously, you want to go before I really start taking the piss out of it. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just I'm just putting the batteries back in. They didn't really oh. fall out. That was that was just that was right. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Todd Swamp. is the troll. Todd, fuck it, he is, isn't he? He's getting worse. Right. Just, I've just got to find a comfortable position to hold it. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> right. Everybody, take your subscription away from him until he learns to behave himself. <laughs> <laughs> right, the fucking what are you doing? I hadn't even started then. Oh, but I'm having a good vape in it. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, then, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Have it larger. <laughs> the fan totally.